So welcome to the new range of wildlife friendly plants. So we have two varieties. We've got the butterfly mix in pink and we've got the bee variety in purple. You can mix and match the two to get the most out of the bulbs for your garden. All you need is a patch of about one meter square, either in a border or split it up for balcony gardens and smaller gardens into containers and it does the same effect for both. So these ones are summer flowering varieties. So if you plant them in March, you expect them to start blooming and flowering about June to August time. Obviously it depends on the weather, but you can leave these ones in over the winter. You don't need to take them out. You can just pop them in and allow them to flower then. So the later you leave to plant them, the later in the year they'll come out. But ideally you want to get them in the ground itself around March, April time to get the most out of them during peak pollination time during June, July and August. So your bees and your butterflies make the most out of them. So just diving into the bee mix, we've got a range of tubers, we've also got bulbs and we have some small seed pockets as well. So in here we have the Coreopsis. So this is more of a tuber that you want to plant in the ground. So once you plant it below the surface, it'll start to have these little shoots coming off it and then that will begin to spread. So it's a perfect plant for filling in gaps as it will naturally just take over patches that is available for it. It's a bright, bright yellow variety, which is brilliant for those seeking more flowery scented flowers, but also those with brighter colors. So to match with your yellow, we also have our lily. So you only have one large one in this one, but this is a perfect centerpiece that is very, very heavily scented, strong enough that we can smell it from a fair distance, but it's also perfect for those nocturnal scented animals like moths that are looking for scents to follow and those feeding in twilight and dawn hours. So alongside our lily, we have dahlias, another very, very tall variety that can sit in the middle of your borders or containers, and then you put your fillers around them. So these come in a little packet with a few bulbs attached to one another. So you just plant these about three times deep as they are tall, or essentially you want to plant them double the distance below. So alongside dahlias, we have anemones. So these ones are perfect if you just soak them overnight in some water first before planting them in. As these are small plants, if you plant them in the front of your borders or in the front of containers or on either side, they're perfect for flowering and then filling in those gaps. But as they have very, very large petals, they're great for smaller varieties of bees to feed upon and smaller butterflies that you find in your garden, such as speckled woods. Depending on the year, they might flower earlier or they might flower a bit later but these ones are perennial. So once you plant these, they'll return year after year. So it's perfect if you plant in the two varieties that we have on offer, and then they'll start to flower and you have a bright burst of color for your pollinators and your butterflies in your gardens.